Just getting the soreness out of your back is going to just change your life. I, mean, just, I can imagine. I mean, just finding, a, I'm not joking, just getting, getting some gua sha tools and just cleaning his back. Mm-hmm. Just, it's like just rinsing with some salt water, brushing your teeth. <laughs> it's yeah. it's to, getting some of the bruising out of your gums kind of idea. Let alone doing orthodontistry, right? Changing the, the reason for why it builds up is another level, level of your care. But um, symptomatically, you're going to feel phenomenal. Just getting this uh, soreness out of your back. Yeah, wow, this side feels like straight heat. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Really hot. <laughs> the viewers at home, not <laughs> filleting him. This is pretty gentle gua sha here. Right there, he just need all this tissue here. Just right there, yeah. C joint, glenohumeral joint, here's where all the gunk binds up. After the elbow, yeah, this feels good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Survive the elbow. Yeah, quite a bit of build up here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. 
I would say I'm perfect, but perfect is boring. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is mandatory up to the point where that those vertebrae start to move on the hug adjustment, right? Yes. That if a chiropractor tries to adjust this area and doesn't get any mobility, you don't just give up and say see it to see tomorrow. You you have to do something to help uh -huh. loosen it so that the next time I adjust you it goes better. Areas of old injuries, you'll sometimes see them when you do the gua sha. It kind of mm -hmm. untangles and brings to light the old traumas that have been stored in our body. And right here, there's a little mark coming out right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it comes. She was in his port out of there. The more the forward, the more the head goes forward, the more stress is on these muscles, like leverage, right? So yeah. the, the alignment determines where the or amplifies the stress that tissue is under. It's evidence of the clogs. So the areas that it gets stiff yeah. build up the most marks because they're not moving properly. There's a congestion, a tightness in the areas. Usually the areas that are abused, because they're abused, they're at least moving, and so they actually don't have a lot of lactic acid in them because they're moving. Yeah. It's the areas around them that are, there's a congestion, a tightness that you'll find in the most of the marks. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Mm, triceps, gee whiz, but when you do these things, <laughs> you get a lot pouring out of here. A lot of cl close grip bench. <laughs> okay, I'm just telling you, you gotta, gotta get somebody to clean this out every once in a while. Jeez. That is, I mean, that, I just don't get too much out of triceps on people. This is a lot out of here. I'm just, oh, I guess I should check the bicep here. I'm just curious. <laughs> oh, yeah. is, this, this is going to suck. Just, my biceps are always tight. Ooh. Oh. I was really interested to see what yes. this this was going to look oh, like, yes. just we'll, because... We'll take a picture of it in a second. It's already coming out pretty strong. So. Yeah. yeah. 
my back has always been yeah. pretty beat up. Pretty big difference between left and right here. Yeah. Yeah. It was really just like under my armpit that hurt on this side, but mm -hmm. like the whole left side just mm -hmm. sucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There was no redeeming right. factor on that side. <laughs> Uh, the color of the mark also tells you about what's happening. Sometimes the marks will be more reddish, and sometimes they'll be more like, what do we call that, black, purplish? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the, the darker the mark is, the older the crud. <laughs> you know, it's getting real dark right here. This is more lighter red, and then this is like, this has been here a while. That's the big trouble area there on that yep. left side. You know, whenever I stretch that, it mm -hmm. just, yo. Mm -hmm. the rocky road right there. Mm -hmm. Jeez. You're not talking marshmallows. <laughs> no, <laughs>
How are you feeling, man? I feel great, actually. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's all swollen. I mean, there's already a mark, what, five seconds in here. This is all bruised up here. It's like an engine. You can't, if you get water in your engine, it'll hydrolock your motor. Water is not compressible. You know, it'll blow out the whole piston or blow out the engine. Right. There is fluid up here and swelling, and that's not going to make the joint compressible. That's why it's not going to click on you. But we have to spend time compressing this fluid out of the joint to make it actually adjustable. It's so swollen that it actually is not really adjustable right now. So we're gonna adjust, we're gonna massage and go on and we'll stretch and then we'll try again at the end, but it's all swollen up here, bud. This isn't so bad though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand. Need rounds of this. This is like carpet cleaning, I call it. Just gotta go in here and clean all this soreness out of here. I mean, pretty pretty dramatic mark right there. It's quite a bit. The mobility of the vertebrae keep the tissue clean. So when the areas get stiff, that's what allows this congestion to build up. Mm -hmm. This is what we're going to use the roller to improve mobility. And eventually we won't even need to be massaged, we won't need to be gua sha This is like a stagnation that's been trapped in here that needs to be unlocked. The, all, the ideal time to stretch is at the end of the day. So at the end of our day, kind of like brushing your teeth before you go to bed is when we're going to stretch. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want the last thing your spine to see is the right position. Mm I don't feel how they expected it to. 
Mm-hmm. How did you expect it to feel? I'm not quite sure. I guess <laughs> like the crunchiness is very odd, but mm-hmm. it does, it's not painful or anything. My favorite is when somebody will say, your, your tool feels so knobby. I'm like, no, no, that's that's you. That's what I was <laughs> thinking. I was like, okay, he's using something that has to have like a look, 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 something. Look, this is, no, 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 look, 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 it's as smooth as anything. Oh, yeah, no. What's, what's bumpy is you. <laughs> The tool is smooth. The tool is meeting what's inside here that's all tangled. But that's very common. People are like, you're a very bumpy tool. No, <laughs> no that's you. What's cool is as you progress through this type of care, everything becomes smooth. <clears throat> My smooth tool meets your smooth back. <laughs> and then, you know, it's just effortless. <clears throat> You'll feel the areas that are smooth, right? It's yeah. supposed to be smooth everywhere. They're like muscle fibers. There shouldn't be any tangles in them, no scars. Yeah, there you go. This is also why they teach, you know, in, in martial arts and, and even weightlifting, you're supposed to exhale, you know, as you're mm-hmm. lifting. And it's, you know, part of it is, uh, obviously, I did Taekwondo, and it's like, ah, you know, you're trying yeah. to, but it's also for, you know, not contracting this area and keeping this area loose so you don't injure yourself. Yeah. And you're trying to, like, you're exhaling while you're throwing a punch because you're, you're trying to uh, release this tension in here. Otherwise, you'll just end up hurting your lower back. Yeah. And, um, the worst thing we can do is to hold our breath when we're lifting, you know, and we hold, right? Mm-hmm. This, this is a great way to come see me. <laughs> it's, it's a great way to, and I, I think I hurt my back. I was having a conversation with my wife last night. I'm like, it only matters if you want to make it to 90. <laughs> if you want to make it to 50, 60, none of this matters. You know, you, but if you want to, if, it's about how do we make the spine last longer yeah. and have a good quality of life in the last third of your yeah, life? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you're down and to the left. That's the first issue. Is that when you're when you're taking orders, your head's going down and you're going. Yes. <laughs> you're saying so. We got to try to go. Well, I don't know. You try to elevate it. I don't know. I know. <laughs> as, as, as impossible as that might be, I don't, I mean, use your peripheral vision. Use your eye. Uh, you know, try to keep your head as level as it could be. Don't be as far forward as you can be. Yeah. You know. And you need me in your life. Uh, there's, there's a significant mark here on the right side that I, you know, told you there was going to be. There's a, I'll, show, I'll take a picture of it in a minute and I'll show you. But this is the injury, just so everybody at home can see. There's there's our injury. My coworkers are like, what happened? Right, right. Well, he found the source of why I want to get on my left side. Give me my guests are going to make this poor girl. Because right, <laughs> she's trying to get away from her right side. Right. I got something right that way. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to get the shoulders in a second. Oh, that's more monsters that you want to get away from. <laughs> no gua sha ever before? Any cupping before? No, no, no. Um, Not really? Cu- yeah, one, Couple times a long time, a long time. Okay. okay. Same kind of category, it's just blood flow. So the, the, you know, the areas that get uh, tense, get tight, they get poor circulation, so the, the remedy is to bring oxygen in, and then when it binds to all the lactic acid, all the areas that have been poorly circulating, it makes a mark. <laughs> yeah, this is these are the injuries and making sort of a visual and you can visually see what's inside that this is why she wants to go to her stomach to get away from these people watching sometimes are like oh my gosh yeah it looks like, awful like it, bit, it, yeah. it, it's actually pretty <clears throat> soothing to me I love being in Washington it's like just get it out of me and you can feel it like you know it's like good pains kind of idea it's like oh yeah just <laughs> yeah. get that knot out of there Even how quickly the mark comes out of her left is different. The left being abused, uh, you know, it'll take more work to get it out of there. Because it's abused, it actually functions, it actually has blood flow. Because it actually is <laughs> moving, it doesn't have as much buildup because it's abused. You know, why did the mark come out bigger on one side? Well, because there was, that's where it was more congested. I'll try, I'll try to get this side. 
I can't make a mark come out. It only, I only can draw out what's there. If there's no plaque on the teeth, I can't make a plaque appear. This is gonna, like I said, this is, we're gonna nip this in the bud, but this is this was coming. This guy right here was. I can feel it, but mm -hmm. it's gnarly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like the teeth, until the cavity reaches the nerve root, we don't even, we don't have much awareness of it, right? And the mm -hmm. decay takes years in a tooth to, you know, from a small cavity to a large cavity to now it's hitting the nerve root and causing a toothache, you know, and so it's, it's the same kind of thing with disc injury. There's, there's very little to no awareness of it until it gets to a certain threshold of damage. Have you been cupped before or had gouache on? Yeah, I've had gouache on before and I've had uh, cupping once and acupuncture once. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely, I don't know, when I started following the page, just the way that yeah. you know you were describing things, it just it just made sense. Yeah. Excellent. I had never heard anyone talk like that before as a chiropractor, so mm -hmm. kinda gave me the I'm glad you're here. Encouragement to, you're here, yeah. to make the trick. I'll set you up with tools and give you some stuff to at least to know what to how to treat it and we ultimately the head's got not tilt to the right. You're saying if that's not treated this won't ever go away. Yeah. This is this is a this is an effect of that. It's oh. that it's the, it's all the gnarliness on the left side of your neck and it takes a number of treatments to get that you know I, don't, I got as best adjusted as I could today it needs like like I said earlier it needs stretching compression see it went you know see in a couple days we do it again you're standing in mm -hmm. cycles of, of you're about like a plate with a food so caked on that you're like breaking nail trying to yeah <laughs> yeah that's what it is it's like it needs like I need to like let it soak for, for a week <laughs> 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 so that so I'm not gonna break my knuckles trying to trying to scrape that plaque off that. It's just it's so caked on. Um, but once your head doesn't desire to tilt to the right, this will start to go away. This is just the effect. I feel that in a nice little boop, boop. Mm -hmm. Feel that, dude. Yep. You got nice. This is a trauma. I don't know. Either because because you're in left avoidance and you're in right jamming. Anytime you have compression, this is where all the pounding. Mm -hmm. You're saying this is where all the, the joint stress is on. So I don't I don't think this was. I'm saying it wasn't like this area was just, this, this this is where all the force was going. <laughs> you know, you run or bicycle or trip. This are, this side's doing 70 percent. This is doing 30 percent. So all the injuries are going to mainly happen on the right because you're in left avoidance. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Right there, it's all. Ooh. Let's see if you can see all this. With the peak right here, that's where it's. It's getting softer, but yeah, it's. It's pretty gentle. I'm not like I'm going crazy. It's you know, for pe people view this sometimes. Stop ripping his skin off. You know, it's the pain. How would you? I mean, it feels yeah, good. No, this is this feels good. Yeah. This is the easy part. The elbow part was the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you had the camera on my face, right? This this the, you've been able to tell. So this, this is the soothing part. Wow. Yeah. This we got a lot over here. I feel a lot of clicking right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a nice injury right there. That's just, you know, see the difference in the color right there. Is a nice injury. Right there. Right. There. right. Almost got to see the knot.
Lack of function of his upper back is a percentage of this. A percentage of why the lower neck is injured is because of his upper back. Mm -hmm. So we can't, it's the upper neck, and I'd say, I don't know, 60% is the upper neck, 20% is the low upper back, and 20% is the tissue mm -hmm. that the nerve is sitting in. Mm -hmm. A majority of it is that lock on his left upper, 